Welcome back to another video. You're watching Blastaway.eu and this is Rasenga. This build is actually based on the idea by Coop772 of integrating a stampede shell onto a uh, demolisher. Personally, I fell in love with this idea like right away when I saw it. But at the same time, I couldn't imagine like cutting up a um, stampede just for the shell. But luckily, I could get my hands on a broken uh, stampede for like little money. So that was basically my go signal um, for this uh, project. And as far as I know, this has been like the fourth iteration of this uh, combination, with uh, Coop 772 being the very first one. So the basic idea is to cut up like the stampede, like along this line, down here and uh, here down at the handle and just integrate it on top of um, the demolisher and um, the overall size just fits perfectly. The biggest difference if compared to the other versions is that I cut up even more of the original stampede shell um, but that's because I didn't know better. The other guys basically uh, have kept like the whole uh, part which uh, houses the um, uh, barrel and uh, while my version doesn't really have enough room anymore to fit another barrel. So if you compare it, the, um, the size of the uh, other versions is like about this high, uh, which is a little bit bulkier than this one. Which is actually a little bit easier to integrate because you have like more surface uh, between like uh, those uh, two parts to connect. Then instead of using like a, a PVC pipe to cover up like the connection, uh, I use like uh, stripes of uh, styrene foam, which gives it an even more like uh, streamlined look. The other differences um, between this one and the original build uh, by Coop 772 are like these uh, rocket holders uh, here on the side, um, which are basically uh, PVC pipes uh, attached to a, a clamp, and this, uh, which is all again like um, screwed onto the uh, shell of the uh, demolisher. The other difference is like uh, this little um, cosmetic uh, element, uh, which is basically the jam door, but uh, it turned out to look like an eye, and um, which reminds me of some uh, robotic um, animal like uh, Mac Godzilla or something like that. Up here, I have like two iron sides, which are basically uh, clamps for PVC pipes. And uh, at some spots, uh, like here, there, um, these are actually those uh, webs that keep um, like the flies out of your apartment. Uh, what I did is uh, cut them into shape and uh, spray painted them silver, um, and then like uh, turned them around and like uh, put like uh, glue spray on, on it on them, and then just uh, stick it onto the shell of the um, blaster for the paint job. It was basically just a black base coat and uh, like silver detailing uh, by using uh, painter's tape <clears throat> and um, before like applying the uh, clear coat I did some dusting using the silver spray. So because I don't know how well it shows on camera, here's a little comparison between like uh, silver dusting and no silver dusting. Performance-wise, I didn't do much about um, the internals. I just uh, removed like all the locks, um, the mechanical ones and the electric ones, and I relocated the battery tray like uh, in the stock of the stampede. And um, it holds like six double A's, and uh, that's why I'm actually running it on nine volts. <laughs> Launcher is just the basic modifications, which are like uh, drilling out the grill, putting uh, e-tape under the o-ring, and um, re-lubricating everything, um, which actually results into um, the slide not uh, going forward by itself without um, a missile. So that's basically it for the overview. Of course, um, this kind of bulky blaster is not uh, for everyone, 
but uh, I personally really like big blasters and uh, they just make you feel really badass and um, especially this combination um, it's not really common because uh, sacrificing a stampede is really something hard to do especially if it's still working and uh, even myself um, after doing like my first stampede modification I just fell in love with uh, the stampede and um, I don't think I could ever like sacrifice one again if it's in working condition so I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe um, like and comment and I see you in the next video